Hello, I'm Ivy Cho with ABC Research Laboratories. This video is to demonstrate to you how to sample your ice and your water. Now the first things I want to go over with you is your sample kits. ABC Research Laboratories will supply you with this. And this first kit that I have here is your ice kit. The first thing that you will receive is a pitcher instructions on how to sample your ice. You will also receive an example sample submission form. And then you will have a blank sample submission form on where you will describe your samples. You will also receive two specimen cups for your ice, a Ziploc bag. Now you will also receive two freezy packs. You will need to freeze these overnight. Now the other sample kit that we're going to go over is your water kit. It's going to come in the same type of insulated cooler with pitcher instructions, but this is going to be specific for water sampling. You'll also receive your example sample submission form as well as a blank sample submission form. You will also receive your Ziploc bag and your water specimen cups. Now before you start sampling your ice or your water, you want to go ahead and fill out your sample submission form and label your specimen cups. Now you will notice that it's going to ask you for your name, your address, your, the owner's name, as well as the collector's name. The owner and the collector might not be the same person. You will also notice that they're going to ask you for a description of your sample, the time and the date that you collected your water or ice. So be as descriptive as possible because this is where you're going to see your report. Now you will see already that I have already labeled my specimen cups. This one's specifically for ice. And you, these ice cups have a clear area and a white area. You want to write on the white area. And you've already noticed that I've already labeled my containers. And the other specimen cup is for water. The water has the same concept. You, you want to label your stickers, your collector name, which I put as my name, uh, your time and your date and description of where you're sampling the water. And you'll, always, you'll also notice that there are some white flakes in here. It's very important for you to not discard this. It's gonna help you preserve your water. Now here's an important note to take. You wanna sample your water and ice late in the day as possible. This will ensure that the laboratory can receive your samples within 24 hours to analyze your water or ice samples. Now there's one more thing that you should do before you start sampling your water or ice. You want to wash your hands. Now I've already done this, but you should wash your hands with warm water and some antibacterial soap up to your mid arm. Okay, well now we can go ahead and start sampling our ice. Now you'll see right here I have an ice box with me. And as I open it up, you see I have an ice scooper. For those of you that do not have an ice box and an ice scooper, you may have an ice dispenser. So all you need to do is pop open the specimen cup and you're gonna put it right under the dispenser and put some ice in it. And then you're gonna close it right up. So for this purpose, you see that I do have an ice scooper. I'm gonna scoop some ice and I'm gonna pour it right in. You're gonna close it right up and you're going to tab it. And for ice, you need to have two samples. So we're gonna go ahead and fill another one. And you'll notice that there's a minimum fill line. You need to at least put enough ice in here that gets to that line. If you could put more, that would be great. Now it's time to ship your ice samples. You're gonna take that insulated cooler that we've already sent you and your already frozen ice packs that you did overnight and we're gonna layer them. That first one, you're gonna put at the bottom. Then you're gonna take your ice specimen cups. Now you can notice that I have taped these. It's gonna be good to help secure it. And to be extra cautious, you wanna wrap this in bubble wrap. But this is your second layer. And you can notice right here. And then your third layer is going to be another freezy pack. This is gonna help the samples stay cold. Your last and final layer is going to be your sample submission form. And you were wondering what that Ziploc bag was for. Well, the Ziploc bag is to help your sample submission form not get wet due to the freezy packs. So you're gonna go ahead and layer this. You're gonna zip it right up. And you're gonna send this overnight FedEx or UPS to us. Now I'm gonna show you how to sample your water. One of the things that you wanna do is check your specimen cup. 
You want to make sure that seal is not broken because then you know it's not contaminated. Before you break that seal, you want to turn on your tap. And you want to turn on your tap ever so slightly. And the reason being is that remember those white flakes that I told you about in your specimen cup? Now, if your water is flowing too fast and you put your specimen cup in there, you're going to have water splashing out. So now it's time to break the seal. It's going to be very important for you to not to contaminate that lid. So we're going to break it open. And when you open this, you want to open it at an angle and you're going to put it right under the water flow. And you want to fill it to the minimum line, which I'll show you in just a second. And we're going to close it right up. Now you'll notice that there's a fill line right here. At minimum, we need this much, but if you could put more than that, that would be even better. So the final step to this is going to be shipping your water samples to us. After you've sampled your water, you're going to need to ship it. Now you're going to take that same insulated cooler that we sent your kits in, and you're going to take those freezy packs that you froze overnight, and the first layer is going to be one of the freezy packs. Now your second layer is going to be your water sample. You want to make sure that you tightly secured your lid, and then you want to put a piece of tape over it. And to be extra cautious, you might want to bubble wrap it. Now we're going to put it in, and you'll notice this is how it's layered. The next step to this is to top your water sample with another freezy pack. This is going to be your third layer, and this is going to help your water sample stay cold. Now your final layer is going to be your sample submission form. Now you may have been wondering what that Ziploc bag was for. Well that Ziploc bag is going to help your sample submission form stay dry. Now it's going to be very important that you fill out the sample submission form correctly. Now I'm going to go ahead and layer this. I'm going to zip it right up. And you're going to send this via FedEx or UPS overnight to us. For additional information, please contact us at 352-372-0436 or you can visit our website at abcr.com. We very much look forward to hearing from you.